Hi guys, welcome back to Eye Photography on YouTube. I'm Stephen and this is Martin. We're both tutors here at Eye Photography. Today, we thought we'd come outside whilst it's bright and beautiful and we'll just have a little bit of a tutorial about kind of working in bright sunshine and what that kind of can contribute in terms of features for your photographs, where it's brilliant to use and the little hazards to watch out for. So come with us and we'll show you what to do. So although it's lovely to be outside, and especially with the sun like this, you may sit down sunbathing, beautiful for a sunny day. But as far as from a photography point of view, this can be the worst possible conditions to shoot in. There are a couple of things that you can do, and the main thing that you want to do in bright sunlight like this is looking for shadow. Often when the camera is working with something that's so contrasting, you'll often find that you'll get some very unflattering images. This can mean that it involves a lot of editing after the point. So it's really important to get it right first time in the camera to save on your workload afterwards. So as you can see with Martin, the way that the light's fallen onto his face is going to give him some heavy shadows in certain areas. Now around the eyes on a portrait, is one of the biggest areas to watch out for because with that absence of light it's going to drop any possibility of bringing out colour from the eyes, a little catch light and these little elements make a massive difference when you're looking at a portrait because the eyes are one of the first things that you'll look towards. So this is where hard light may be a little bit uh, kind of negative, a little bit kind of uh, problematic in portraits but we'll show you how we can remedy it and we'll try and turn some of these heavy shadows into something a bit more softer and a bit more cleaner. So as you can see on Martin we've got this area of dappled light and what that means is that you get some areas that are kind of brightly lit, some are a little bit darker and as the light is actually coming through the leaves above him it means that light is moving so you've got to consider any kind of natural elements that may move. Just by shifting Martin a little bit there you can see now that the narrow side of his face here and the broad side they've actually got a lot more shadow and therefore it's a lot more even. Now this is going to make it a lot more pleasing on the skin tone because light is a lot more even so effectively when it comes to editing there's a lot less that you'll actually have to do. Bringing your subjects into that shadow area and leaving that heavy light either in the background or elsewhere will just make that portrait seem a little bit more simplified and a little bit more pleasing to the eye. So if you ever get a situation when you've got your model lying down on the grass, there's one thing you need to be aware of, Martin, isn't there? There certainly is. Make sure that if you are in bright sunlight and you've got a lot of greenery around, watch out for any reflections in your shadows. You often won't see them with the eye, but the camera will pick it up. <laughs> So if you've got a situation where the light's coming in from behind and your subject's face is therefore quite dark, there is something you can use to make it a little bit brighter. Martin. The best thing to do is use that light from behind with some kind of reflector and then that will expose your shot by using the light. So I hope you found this really useful and you've learned a couple more tips that when you're dealing with harsh sunlight, you've got the tools to maybe get that perfect shot. So if you've got those fantastic shots, put them in the eye photography gallery, show them off and show us your examples. Bye. Bye. <laughs>